In today's video, I'm showing you how to use the Mondral Blink Outdoor app on your phone with some tips and tricks. I'm also showing you how you can use the USB flash drive for your module too, so you don't have to pay anything for a monthly subscription for a cloud-based storage. Also, I'm gonna show you how you can take that uh, flash drive off the module, put it in a PC, and delete the files so you don't have to have any worries about ever filling up the USB flash drive. Coming up right now. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my phone. I wanna do some screen magic and let it pop up right here, right now. And I'm gonna go through some of the settings, some of the tips and tricks for you. And then we're gonna get to the good stuff, which is the flash drive, where I can show you how much memory you've used and all that good stuff. So we're gonna hop right into it. We're gonna go through this as quickly as possible. So let's hop into it. So the very first thing I wanna show you on this is if you see the little man, so it says front yard, and right beside it, on the far right hand side is a little man, it looks like he's running. If you ever wanna just turn motion off to where you don't have to go into the set, and turn the motion off from the settings, you can just actually hit this. And what it does is it disables the camera. That's essentially what you're doing anyways. I should say it essentially. Essentially what you're doing anyways when you disable motion is you're just disabling the camera. Another way to do this is if you wanna have no motion for any camera, say you're having a big party, a bunch of people walking around stuff, and you just don't want all the notifications, all the memory on your cameras filling up and stuff for your flash drive. You can just hit this arm at the very bottom. Is it disarm and arm? If it's disarmed, all your motion is turned off so you won't have no motions cameras will still be running but it won't be recording anything and this is just another quick simple easy way to turn off motion for it. all the cameras are again if you want to do one camera at a time hit the little man on the side and you're good to go now let's get into some of the settings on the phone itself and in the app itself. Three lines right beside the little man. So hit the little three lines and you can name your device, your battery. Now let me talk about battery real quick. When you mess with the settings, it is going to affect the battery life. I know it says it has a two year battery. If you've seen my last video, if you haven't seen my last video, I actually go through on how to set this whole system up and everything. I'll post that right here, right now. It's on this side, I believe, or this, side. I don't know. It's one of this, one of the corners It's going to pop up in. You can check that out there. So it shows you the temperature outside, which is pretty cool. You move down again. This is the motion detection, which is we have it enabled. If you want to turn it off from here, you can just by hitting the blue dot. It'll enable the motion or de uh, disable it. Now zones, this is what I want to talk about for a second. You see how this pops up? This is my front door and everything. This is pretty cool because what you can do, say is you have a like a tree limb or something that's constantly in your frame and constantly the wind blows and stuff and it's constantly set in your motion detection off. You can actually come into this. We're gonna use these bushes right here to the left of my house as for an example. You can actually mark these out right here. You see how they kind of gray out the boxes? And what that does is you, you won't get motion from that direct area. And you know, and you can unable, you can enable them again by going back and clicking into the boxes. So that's a pretty cool. I actually had that issue on my back porch where I had a fan that was constantly moving. I was always getting notifications from motion from it. So I just went in there and quite literally blocked out the boxes so I didn't have that issue and they quite literally solved the issue altogether. Now you can go in the privacy zones. You can do it like it's more uh, precise. The boxes are smaller as you can see. If you hold it, you can play around with it uh, and you can just kind of do it little smaller areas and stuff. If you have just like a little piece of something moving and it's making your motion detection go off. So re-trigger time is simply just how, how fast it starts recording again after it's done recording. Uh, sensitivity is pretty self-explanatory, but pretty much it just how sensitive your motion is. Clip lengths, we're gonna go down to clip lengths. That's simply how long the video records for if you have it set to not just record it when it sees motion. If it sees motion, how long it'll record for. I have it to where it stops recording once it sees motions. And this is where it is right here. And clip early if motion stops. Early notifications is pretty self-explanatory. I'll read it for you. Receive, receive a push notification as soon as a motion is detected instead of after a motion clip finishes recording. This may interrupt the recording. Uh, I haven't had the issue with interrupting the recording yet, but I do have this on because something's going on. I want to know about it right then and there. You know what I mean? Someone's trying to break in the house and stuff. I can maybe detour them by coming through and talking through the camera 
camera itself, which you can do, and I'll show you here in a minute how you can do that. A uh, night vision control, I have it on auto. Uh, IR, which is uh, your infrared. Um, I have it on medium just because I have uh, lights on the front porch. Now that's pretty much, the more lighting you have, the lower you can have this. If you have a pretty well lit area, you can have this pretty low, but if it's pitch black, have this turned to high. And if you turn it high, this setting may impact battery life. I just wanted to show you all that. Enable microphone. When you go and look at a live feed, I'll show you how to do that here in a second as well. Uh, you can just talk through it and they'll hear you on the other side. Speaker volume, you can look high, low, however you want to do it. Quality, I have all my cameras set the best, of course. All right, so this is, uh, the next thing is photo capture. This is one of the things where you have to have the Blink uh, subscription base for it to take a photo every hour. I don't really see the point of that if I have a motion detection sen uh, sensor to where it'll just pick up the sensor and record something anyways. And I can manually take pictures with this if I want to. Say we move something and we change something, I can just go into the app and take a new picture of it. And of course you have your update option down here. Uh, this pretty much updates by itself, but if you ever start having issues or you know just it seems like buggy or something i would start by like maybe re trying to reset the cameras where you unmount them and everything try to hit an update to see if it needs an update and see if that fixes it that way you don't have to get up on a ladder and take your cameras down and pull the batteries out and all that good stuff uh these are your camera wi-fi and your camera to sync module these are just showing your levels of connectivity uh last but not least is delete camera we don't want to delete delete cameras so we're going to back out actually and we're going to show you a couple things right now the camera on the bottom left hand corner is for your live view you can just click on that see what we got going on so it is like seven o'clock in the morning right now the so grass is cut thank god this video would be awful if it wasn't <laughs> and so pretty much right now they can act I, you could just hold the talk so i can hold this button and everybody can hear what i'm doing right now if anybody's outside or anything and it's going to be weird if my neighbor hears me talking right now i'm talking to a camera at the same time i'm just showing you how you can do that and then if they're outside and they talk back to you they actually you know they can do that and they'll talk back to you and you can have a conversation i've had this happen a couple times where i needed to do that if we were to click on the next button over at the very bottom there's tabs you get the home button looks like a little home and the next one you got like a play looking button like almost like a youtube button click on this button right here uh this is going to pull up all your recordings you can go in here and you can record from you can watch any of your recordings back from your phone even with the local storage you cannot delete from the phone that's the only bad thing if you're using a local storage and not using this description base through blink anyways i just want to show you all that now before we move into the next thing i want to show you one more thing all right last thing i want to show you all is the storage and how it works before we get to the computer part of it so if you actually go to settings and come down to where mine is just pew household and you click on that you have a, a next a menu pop up you come down here to sync module so you have all devices scheduling time zone and then sync module you can click on that and then if you go underneath right underneath the that uh, last status sync module is online last status so you got local storage if you click on that this will actually show you how for how full your storage is so mine is at six percent now i have been using mine pretty much 30 days after prime day i'm trying to remember when prime day was i'll get an exact date and i'll post it right here for a on-screen comment and <laughs> That way you have an idea. Now I have a total of four cameras and this thing's only at 6%. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is really, really good. I think I have a 128 gigabyte mo uh, little flash drive I plug into the module and it was like 40 bucks. So for it to be at 6% and I get a lot of notifications, like a lot of them. So that's the way you can just see the storage and how it works and stuff. And like I said, you got plenty of, plenty of room, especially if you get 128 mega, uh, gigabyte flash drive. That's it for the app. All right, guys, we are to the final part of the video where we talk about the module to itself and the flash drive you can buy to not have to do a subscription with it so if you're saying oh my module 2 doesn't look like yours that's because i actually bought a call it like a cage we would put on like a camera or something it's like a 20 dollars part sometimes you can find them cheaper it just kind of holds everything together wraps the wire around to make it where it's just nice and, nice and neat and just plugs into the wall a little easier you know you have your module 2 of course if you have a usb slot and here is the famous usb I was talking about the Samsung. Doing that, you can plug this in on any USB slot on your computer. And it brings up your files automatically. If not, we'll pretend it doesn't. We'll show you how to get to it from if it doesn't bring it up automatically. So what you wanna do is you wanna go down here to your bottom left, 
you can type in search and you can just type in this PC, click on it. You have a, this is the USB D and you can see it says blink and everything right there. So what we're gonna do, this is actually quite literally my first time looking at this too. Click on blink and then uh, we're gonna see what these are real quick. Nothing there. Okay, so these are actually marked by days. So if you bring up the day, you can just see where it has everything labeled on which camera it was and stuff, which is very nice. I'm, I'm glad it does that uh, for you. And it has the timestamps right here on the right date modified and all that. So, and these are MP4 files. How do we delete these? Well, I mean, it's simple. So I'm gonna go to delete. Are you sure you wanna delete? Anyways, so this is, that's it guys. That's how you do it. You go in here, you just plug it up to your computer. Again, if you can't, you don't know how to get to it, just all you quite literally have to do, let me get that out of the way for y'all, is go to this PC, type it in. You should see it right here. There you go. And you can go in here and everything's labeled for you by, by days, which is very, very nice. Looks like the year, the month, and the day. It's marked in the folder by what your camera setup was. Final thoughts, the cameras have been great. I have had no issues with them at all. If I have a negative to talk about, it would be with the storage and not having the online option, it would be I can't record live. So that means if I go to the app and go to look at a video, like some pull up a camera, just live, it doesn't record. With the cloud storage base, it does record. I don't really care about that personally, but that would be the only con. I've actually loved this system. I, it works very well, it seems like. I haven't had no issues with any batteries or nothing. That's only been a couple months, of course, and the storage for this thing seems to be very good for the local storage. Again, I'm gonna post a link for the flash drive I use. Honestly, you can use any flash drive you want. Just uh, grab one and go with it. If you're curious on my little cage item I put on this, module to just kind of uh, make it neater and put it all bulked together. I'll uh, find one and post it in the description too to make it easier for you. That's it guys. Uh, make sure you leave a comment again if you have any questions about the system. Make sure you uh, let me know what you like about the system is in the comment below. If you like the video hit like. I'm going to post a video right here or right here. Check one of those out and as always guys be safe till next time. Later.